Hey guys, welcome back to Lilliness Club and today I'm really excited to share this recipe of one of my favorite soups, butternut squash soup. So let's get straight into it. For this recipe, we will need a medium sized butternut squash, approximately 2 pounds in weight. People usually hesitate to use butternut squash because it looks a little tricky to prep, but it's really easy. The top part is really fleshy and the bottom part is hollow inside. All you need to do is cut into half, open it up and scoop out the seeds. This whole butternut squash can make soup for about 4 to 5 people, but I'm just making it for 2, so I'm using just the bottom half. Make sure you take all the seeds out and it's clean like a whistle. Now just roughly dice the butternut squash. It doesn't have to be perfect dices because you're gonna blend it anyways. And now let's chop half of a medium sized onion. Now in a medium sized pot use about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Turn up the flame to medium high. Add your chopped onions. And just sweat them lightly for about a minute. And then we will add 2 cloves of garlic to it. Cook this for about a minute and then we will add our butternut squash into the pot. Now gently stir it making sure it's coated in oil from all the sides and let it cook for a few minutes. We want to make sure it browns from all the corner like this. After a few minutes we can see it has started to brown and so are the onions and the garlic. This smells so good right now. Now we will add approximately 2 cups of vegetable broth to it. If you would rather prefer chicken stock or chicken broth you can do that too. Now add about 2 teaspoons of salt. This is up to your taste but remember your stock or the broth you're using has salt in there too. And 1 teaspoon of crushed black pepper. As the soup comes to boil we will cover the pot, turn down the flame to medium and let it simmer for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now about 8 minutes have passed. Let's see how tender our butternut squash is. Now let's take out one piece of butternut squash with the help of spoon. To check the tenderness gently press it if it breaks down easily without much effort it's ready to be blended. Now let's turn off the flame and blend the soup with immersion blender. Be very careful when blending hot liquid. Now this beautiful smooth and silky base for our soup is ready. Not only this is a really great soup but at this stage this is really great meal for toddlers. And now the best part the coconut milk. One really important thing before opening the can of coconut milk. Never shake the can of coconut milk before opening it. Because if you shake the can too much, you will mix the natural waters of coconut milk with the creamy part which we want to use for the soup. The watery part is settled down in the bottom and we will save about 2 tablespoons of that for later. Now let's just check for the seasoning. Make sure everything is perfect. Mmm, this is delicious. Make sure to properly cook off your coconut milk. This will bring proper shine and sheen on top of your soup, just like this. And now for garnish of our soup, I'm taking about 2 tablespoon of toasted peanuts along with 1 tablespoon of chili flakes. And I will crush them in the mortar together. Doing so, we'll just blend the flavors of peanut oil with chili flakes. Now let's just plate our soup. Let's drizzle the remaining coconut milk on top. some freshly chopped cilantro and the crushed chili and peanuts. And so here it is, your soup is ready. You can top it with hot chili oil, fresh thyme or fresh lime zest. Enjoy it any way you like. Like other orange colored fruits and veggies, butternut squash is full of beta and alpha carotene. Your body converts them to vitamin A which is important for immune system. It's excellent for eyes and it's also a great hydrator. I hope you guys liked today's recipe. So please like, comment and subscribe and until next time, stay safe and blessed.